Violet Baudelaire, the eldest, was one of the finest 14-year-old inventors in the world. Anyone who knew Violet well could tell she was inventing something when her long hair was tied up in a ribbon. No one was better to test her inventions. I'm very, very sorry to tell you this, but your parents have... If you have ever lost someone very important to you, the entire mansion was in flames. Isn't it lovely, children? I'm Violet, and this is my brother Klaus and my sister Sunny. Poe, mortuary man. Your house is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. And Kribo. Uh, how do you do? Sunny's our sister. The idea! And what am I to do with them until then? Watching it as their situation seems. Dinner? But we've never made dinner before. Pasta it is. Sunny, a little help? Okay, we're gonna need a pot. No pot. And a strainer? No strainer. Thank you. Uh, and a saucepan. <clears throat> uh, dinner is served. Roast beef? Beef, yes, roast beef. But you didn't tell us you wanted roast beef. Ah, you monster! <laughs> Klaus, what are you doing? I'm going. Going where? Klaus? Well, maybe they did have a plan. Do you remember when Mom and Dad went to Europe? And we thought they'd abandoned us because they didn't even write. And then we found out they'd written a long letter just gotten lost in the mail. Do you remember how guilty we felt for thinking bad thoughts about them? This is just like that. Sanctuary. And I realize that I've been a bit Standoffish, shall we say? Which in this case is a big, big word, meaning... Pure evil. You've read books on trains? What do we do? It's too far away. No. There has to be something we can use to pull it. There's nothing in here. There's always something. Sonny, bite the head off that elf. Violet, I got it. I don't mean to rush you. Oh, nice shot. Thank you. Pull. Do you know what kind of scientist he is? Few people do. Any? <laughs> Unbridled, so gallant rode he. Three, you know. I think I know that song. I think, I think our parents used to play if you had children. Oh yes. Uncle Monty, why are you doing all this for us? And so, the Baudelaire children. Hypothesis. Thank goodness you were available. Klaus, it's, it's just a coincidence. Violet, no. Leave that to me. I'm sure it has a certain amount of strength, but uh, how does it pull a man's face into a cave? But uh, doesn't he, children? Oh, yeah. I was wondering because I'd milk these things all day long. <laughs> okay. The Baudelaire celebrated their unmasking of cow. Perfect, nice hot soup. And irrational. Everything's fine, Aunt Josephine. Ah! No! And I to introduce him. This... Klaus and me. Oh. It doesn't matter. This doesn't is... matter. The leeches took my oh, Captain Sham. Bring me that fire extinguisher. Because we need to move this anchor over there. What? Just help me. Morning, 
up. You just stay where you're at. We'll come where you're told. Ever read any books on sailing? Oh, what is he up to? Why are we in the play? No, but it's just a play. He can't get a fortune by marrying me in a play. Oh, uh, die. In order to be a valid marriage, it has to be administered by a... Violet, you look so beautiful. <laughs> Strauss, you don't understand. The play is real. All the other actors I saw lack the proper... Uh... I'll never say I do. Never. How could you? She's an infant. Oh, Violet. Violet, Violet, Violet. You should know by now that you can't have everything you want. I have to. Not this time. Wedded wife. In sickness and sickness and in health, till death do you part. Just as Hey, marriage is no picnic. Oh, and by the way, you're a terrible actor. Unmasking a cruel and talentless arsonist and solving the myth. No, no, we all never have to do. Who's it from? It's the letter. Good and they are the sort of something to invent. <laughs> 